Uh, hello, you gang. All right, y'all. Road trip time. We should have been on the road, first of all. See you, Dad. Hey, hey, my boy, my boy. That's my boy. <laughs> road trip. You feel me? We should have been on the road, but this dude over here was selling big time. It's cool, though. We're going to be on the way. He don't know what he's doing, bro. He don't know how to drive for real. Oh, chill. He's a bot. <laughs> nah, he good, he good. But nah, we finna be sliding to Athens for like a day and a half now. We would have been here this morning, but it's whatever. I got to rest anyway, because it's been a long weekend. But uh, I'm excited. We're going to get to see my boy Seth. So uh, yeah, let's get into it. Oh, it's struggling. <laughs> get him right, E. Get him right, E. Look at that pedigree E. He official on everything he does. Smooth. How, how does that make you feel, man? Huh? First try. Hey, don't worry about it, bro. Right, I like to fault. support my uh, my black brethren. No, for real, for real. Yeah, for no sure. Hate, no hate. Look at that man, Darren. He got a little drip on, a little something slight. He's been working I on his. Me. <laughs> in the back seat, y'all. Woo! <laughs> now y'all might say, John, why are you sitting in the back? But when you're a tall individual, you feel me? Sit in the back, stretching your legs out is the way to go on a long trip. But Darren wouldn't know nothing about that, so I let him get shot. I, I, I didn't even realize how tall your mom was. I just saw her standing next to you. I'm like, dang, she's like... She, five she eight, ain't heels right? yeah. on today, I think. She's 5'8". I think y'all are the same height, to be honest. Oh, she looked tall next to you. Yeah, she had heels on. Make it, like, okay. I don't mind. Honestly, like, at this point, I actually don't mind editing. I really enjoy it. Word. But... Yeah, now, but I, that's that's a whole other conversation. I think like creatively, I'm like getting there a lot more because I didn't used to think I was creative. I think we had a conversation a few times, but like I'm kind of stepping into that outside my comfort zone. I'm actually enjoying it, mm -hmm. but the only thing that I'll miss is like capturing moments and whatnot. Yeah, and, wh and whatever. But having a videographer like that would just yeah. I just told bro I need to get a, a cameraman because I'm gonna go in and go get me some snacks. Me. You hungry? You want something? All right, for sure. So I'm finna uh, go get me some snacks. It's a little chilly though. Fit for the day. Fit skis. Normally I would be wearing just straight sweats, but the sweatpants I had on was not working. What do we want? We want essentials. This is way better than the originals, and my brothers only like the originals. Drop a comment if y'all rocking with extra cheddar. And then we gotta get the gummies, bro. All right. Twin snakes are super fine. This one right here. Uh, bro, I'm such a little kid. I can't decide if I want the regulars right now, though. Yeah, I'm gonna do the regulars. Last but not least, I want some juice, bro. Let's go get me this little body armor. Let's get the strawberry grape. Should probably get some water, too. And I'm gonna get the blue raspberry. Call it a little trip. Call it a little day. We're gonna be straight. Becoming a person that people say yes to, regardless of the opportunity. Am I? Do I? That's it. All right, y'all. Uh, first little stop. I think we're halfway there now. What time? Two and a half hours left. It's 9:07 right now. So, like we said, we'll probably pull up at at like 12 a.m. Fortunately, they got that 11 a.m. service. That's so clutch. But uh, yeah, you already know where we at. You already know what I'm on. I think we stopped at this Chick-fil-A when we went to uh, ENC last year. I don't know about that one. You don't think so? No, uh, bro. Are you sure? No. Right here? Yeah, we parked right there. This is the one. Because the Chipotle's right down there. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's the That's actually crazy. crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't remember that. I'm good with the direction. I got it. Yeah, so you talk about superpowers, bro. If I go someplace one time, bro, I can remember it off memory. Bro, people will really lie to your face and say no lie right after. That's insane. Bro, we, we go from if we go from Nashville to Athens, and I'm awake and attentive the whole time. I can remember how to get back and and get there. 
He said that with a straight face, y'all. <laughs> I'm about to show you one day. <laughs> We're gonna have to go. We're gonna have to do it. What you geeking at? Get my points, my boy. I don't even know what I want, bro. What she gonna get? Uh, I'm gonna get that. No cameras. <laughs> Need the number two, you find what I'm saying? I feel it, I feel it. I can't get my normal order. I feel like an underrated sauce from Chick-fil-A is the ranch. The ranch is kind of cool. It's a little tangy though. But we got the number two. I said the number two because he said the number two. I meant to get the deluxe. I sold it. Deluxe don't do nothing for you, bro. Yeah, it does everything for you. It does everything for you. What are you talking about? What's it got on it? It's got the tomato for like extra, you feel me, flavor, extra juice, some lettuce on there. You can throw some pepper jack cheese on there. You it's lactose useless, intolerant, bro. aren't you? It's useless. You're lactose intolerant, aren't you? It's useless, bro. You what is lettuce and tomato after. gonna do for you, bro? It's got like mayonnaise, bro. We can't listen to anything he says. It's ridiculous, bro. What? What are you talking about? He's a mayo guy. You like honey mustard. Stop talking. Honey mustard is better than mayo. Drop a comment. Is honey mustard better than mayo? Honey mustard is definitely more versatile than mayo. Now we're just chatting. That's actually crazy. I'm a ranch guy anyway. I got both. Ranch is the most versatile of them all. Let's be real. I agree. But, uh, I'm gonna walk down. Just wait on y'all. I'll probably walk, like, all the way to the street corner. Yeah, we yeah, can just out. I'ma hop in with you and tell you where to go. I mean, I was trying to make my shit, boy. Hey, put this on the uh, put this on your mirror, and then go straight forward to that stop sign. Take a right. Bro, I ain't seen too much, but Athens is kind of smooth, bro. Athens is nice, bro. It's not what I, I wasn't, I wasn't expecting all of this. I'm not going to lie. It's, it's nice. It's a good little college town. What's good, vloggity? It's been a while since they've seen you. For real. Since they've seen that cute right. little face. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I think we passed it. Isn't it? Is it that white building? This stuff is just... Bro, I would flick up here 24-7, bro. Be so for real. This is such a W spot for Instagram pics. The entire aesthetic. You can flick there. Flick there. There is a stairwell that has great lighting. Like, lighting beams there, bro. And that's a parking garage, bro. I'd be so up. Let me get a big old purple bean bag and put it right here. And then, like, hang books up. And that's all I'm going to do. Krivsky. I was familiar with Athens game like that. Yeah, I, I definitely like. It's like a theater. It's like a theater room, bro. Yeah, I was kind of. I would never leave my room, bro. Like, if it would work out or not, but right. bro, it was definitely. That's perfect, bro. Yeah, I'd never leave my room, bro. Top of the morning, bro. My voice is so cooked right now. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like this don't even sound like my normal sleepy voice though. That's the crazy thing. Yeah, he's shirtless. Hold on, modesty alert. Listen to me. Hey, yo! <laughs> <laughs> still slept on the floor. Old size, that he could have shared. Bro, I was raised in the trenches. You know what I do. <laughs> the trenches sound <laughs> awfully like, like the jungle. <laughs> <laughs> or do I want a one bedroom apartment? Or a two bedroom apartment, I mean. Yeah, two bed? I mean, it's, a lot, keep on a, guest it's room? a lot cheaper. Yeah, I just have a guest room. Yeah. You know, like a private office space. Yeah. I don't know. I go, but then with the house, you have equity. Right. So, but I'll probably do a townhouse because like a house is a lot of responsibility. Like if you get a townhouse where they take care of the community, they have like a community around you and they like get the grass and all that kind of stuff and have maybe a pool, fitness in it, and just kind of chilling. I don't know. I'll go back and forth. I'd be more worried about, um, what's gonna call it? Just the sound thing. That's my thing because I know if I make content, I'd be yelling at junk. Mm. So if I'm attached to a wall. Yeah. So I'm thinking like, would I want a condo? Would I want an apartment? Definitely don't know that. I definitely don't want a house right now. Can't even afford no house right now, but that's cool though. I was gonna say, probably just way cheaper to get. Yeah. But again, the equity. The only thing for me though is like, why would I get an apartment and pay fifteen hundred a month for a solo dolo when I could split that with somebody for a two bedroom? One hundred percent. Like if you're doing a roommate, then it makes sense. Or even if you had a three bedroom split with two people, I had a guest room. Either one is like still. Small. It's still cheaper than having a. That's crazy how that worked. But um, 
Yo, we finna start the church once Darren gets uh ready. He almost done. Today's Fitzkies. He y'all see it, y'all see it. Ah ha ha. Oilers hat. Y'all the real ones know that's when the Titans was really like that when they were the Oilers. Yeah, that 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 uni powder blue. Come on now, and then look at the detail. He's like John, why you got a gray sweatshirt on? Feel me? How does that feel with the color scheme? Details. Silver on the shoe. Y'all don't be peeping what really be going on. Chill out, bro. I do have red polo boxes on. I can't find my belt, y'all. <laughs> All right, let's rate the rate. Let's rate. Oh, I can't English, bro. Ugh. Let's rate the drip. Got the cargo pants. They finish it. They finish it. They finish it. La last disciple T, he will never let that shirt die, bro. Uh, let me cook. Let me cook. Let me cook. Yeah, sure, finish, sure, sure. Yeah. You working on the sermon or uh, EP? Nah, nah, nah. I'm just, you know, I'm just, you know, I'm eating the word. Word? Yeah. For sure. Eat yeah. the word before, uh, before service. Yeah. yeah he really that. sanctified, y'all. <laughs> All right, y'all. This man says got one of the most aesthetically pleasing top shelves in the fridge, bro. Why this man got ninety cans of Pellegrino? I'm definitely finna drink all of them joints though. Nah, I'm gonna try this out though, Seth. We're gonna have to mess up your little row. And then we're gonna try that too. And that one too. Cause I like black raspberry. I'm not a cool, crazy fan of blood orange, but cherry and pomegranate sound kind of tough. All right, y'all, we on our way to church right now, but this is what I was saying, bro. They got these light beams for the stairwell. Perfect photo op. It'll make Eric and Darren look like models. There's ice right there. I'm gonna give you a check. All right, y'all, we just pulled up to church. I feel like every church be having that logo, bro. All them new churches, with the C's. Anyways, it sounded like my pops is saying he wants us to leave this trip early, bro. So I up with that. So my dad sent me a screenshot of, of all these colors. And I asked him, focus up. Are they projecting, focus, please. Are they, fo are they, oh my goodness. Are they projecting a lot of snow in Chattanooga? And then he just said, I sent you a screenshot. Now, we're trying to see what time we're trying to leave at the service. But, uh, Dad, I don't speak meteor meteorology. I don't know what this means. I just see a lot of colors. I don't I don't see snow. But I checked the, the weather app on the uh, Apple, and they said it's going to snow tomorrow for sure. So, Air deep, though. Seth was not lying. He said the sanctuary fits 900. And, uh... Look at him. Okay, right now. <laughs> oh, he's working right here. now. Okay, he's just running. <laughs> this is the one. Ask him. Ask him. He's the one to ask. <laughs> what are we looking for? We're looking for money, man. I was just telling my guys, I feel like Seth made that graphic. Just knowing Seth and his design style. He loves adding a, um, what's it called? That's a, a script font right there. This is a... Really dope. I'm excited for service. We're gonna see what they get into. That boy Darren locked in. He ready for the word. All right, y'all. We just finished service. There were so many bars in that sermon, bro. Uh, he talked about boldness, and he talked about. He said, "Be the fire hydrant." He said, "The fire hydrant. The fire hydrant's empty, but it's connected to a reservoir that has all the power." Hey. I was like, "Yo, tough." Then he said, uh, he said, live full, die empty. And as long as you're breathing, God says, work for you to do. So basically, as long as we're alive, we got to keep living to the fullest. We can't stop moving. We can't stop the motion. You feel me? Because in the spirit, there is no retirement. God's always going to have an assignment for us. So then we need to die with nothing left on the table. That's hard, bro. That's going to be a Instagram caption for me. I might, hey, bro, don't steal that caption, bro. But right now, Seth is about to give us a tour uh, of um, this church. Hey, homie. What's this is tough. Very cool. I ain't gonna lie. I'm on it! Yeah, he's cooking right now. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, we bust. Homeless you and then we feed him after. Wow. So fire, bro. What's going on? How are you? Here is where we do our food pantry. So there's like a kitchen here, we got some huge refrigerators, and then everybody drives through here and it loops around the whole parking lot. And we have stations set up on both sides where we just give them groceries through the window. That's so tough. And they funnel through that way. That's super dope. 
Jesse Scott's at the end. And that's our conference room. But well, these are some of my friends. This is uh, Hey, nice John, to meet you. Darren, nice to meet you. And nice to meet you, man. <laughs> But yes, so this oh, is my Is that a Sony? Yeah, it is. What are those called? That's that's that boy said, that's so tough with the bubbles. Y'all have a good one. Like, ah, smiling. Aww. Yes, yeah, that's that up top. Nah, for real. He, uh, so we just had a talk with Seth's pastor. And Pastor Scott is a G, bro. Um, <laughs> ironically, said I said y'all must have long talks because he sat and talked for us for a good little minute. Um, and Seth said that was the longest that he'd ever had a conversation with him. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's also his boss as well. So uh, he was just dropping a lot of wisdom, bro. And then he asked us about what we're looking forward to in the new year and giving yeah, wisdom on that. That's a podcast question. I knew he was going to open it up. <laughs> yeah. 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 I mean, Derek yeah. definitely could. When Derek's in his podcast bag, bro, he could talk to anybody. He's a podcaster, bro. For real, bro. He just had him questions, bro. Bum outfit. Bitsky chain. Gas station, bro, just cream gas. Really? Well, I mean, we we don't ride with me anyway. Oh, yeah, it's so cool. Where you get that from? Uh, it's handmade. I mm. found a little shoddy on Instagram who crochets and stuff, mm. and I hit her up, and I was just like, no, it wasn't, it wasn't anything. How much it cost? How much you go for? It really wasn't anything like that. She like actually is like way too young to be anything like that. But I appreciate people who like do stuff on their own. I have you. small businesses, so I was like, all right, let me get one. And then I fell in love money. with it, yeah. and tough. now I wear this beanie like all the time. That junk's so. up. <laughs> All right, so we got options. We got uh, we got this place called Takiyari Tsunami, which is like a mix between like Mexican and Asian food. Like they got like Asian flavored tacos and stuff like that. It's it's mad good. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, how is it? <laughs> no comment. <laughs> Eric wants a burger. We we can just walk down here then. That's Farm Burger, down there. That's a good burger spot. Um, something filled or something just filling. All right. Maybe we can, uh, maybe we can do the burger later tonight. Yeah. We, I think burger for dinner would be cool because then we can just like pick it up and watch the games yeah. while we eat. I think that would be smooth. What's Unless. What's your favorite? You want to get filled up? Eat? Yeah, I'm taking filled up, man. <laughs> yeah. A lot of Asian kitchen is crazy. <laughs> we go try. Let's see what's up. So, uh, how is it? <laughs> no comment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm not like Darren with the food ranks. <laughs> Eric, what's the rating, bro? I get like a solid 8 out of 10, bro. No, those empanadas, though, 10 out of 10. The one side. Service, 6 out of 10. Yeah, service, 6 out of 10. I'll swap to 8 out of 10 overall. I would, I would knock it down lower. I ain't gonna lie. Food. 7.78. For sure. I'm not sounding you. I'm sorry. I'm just not. Which one? Which one, sir? Hey, bro, I don't style for free. You talking about a $300 budget. That means you're spending it all on my time with you. <laughs> Currently trying to shop for Eric. I told you, bro. So you said you spend the money. You said it's so silly. So you paying for styling and money. All right, close. Hey. What you laughing at, bro? <laughs> don't even get, don't even get started, bro. I'm let me cook you, bro. No, 2:36. What happened? I said, "What you laughing at, bro?" <laughs> Talk to Darren. <laughs> what you laughing at? <laughs> get one jack. That's crazy. <laughs> the disclaimers don't matter no more. You're not recording no more. This just in, just different is about to be canceled, bro. This is the last. <laughs> this is the last video that you'll ever see of Darren publicly, y'all. Nah, I'm, to... <laughs> right I'm throwing his camera, his phone in the water. <laughs> that was way too much power. Oh, yeah. Seth, what did, what did you say for him to get that response? <laughs> what did you say? What did I said, what did you do out of love? Oh, he's reading the back of his hoodie, yeah. bro. His <laughs> whole hoodie was as big as up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, gang, it's probably going to come with the vlog skis. We heading out at like 7, for me. 6.16 right now. The weather's a little ugly. 
So we're trying to get back before we get slowed in the Val. Why do I keep saying Val Austin, bro? We're definitely in Athens. But uh, yeah, more content on the way. Let y'all. Peace. All right, y'all. I know so I said this is the end of the vlog. We had a crazy drive. Oh, we just got stuck. We almost made it home. Home is right there, bro. Home is right there. Shout out Eric. He drove us all five hours. The drive was crazy on the way. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm going to show some footage. January 5th, 1992 was the last time the Lions won a playoff game. Here you go, back up. You know Matter of fact, Blake's huge. Yeah, nah,